what is this catchphrase? You'll find the answers to this and many more as we play television's most exciting new game, Catchphrase. And here's your host on Catchphrase, Art James. Thank you very much, everybody, and welcome to Catchphrase. Well, thanks for tuning in. We promise you a great show. And you know that one of our players, if they, they do particularly well, can win cash and prizes totaling $75,000. Let's get at it. John, what do we have? First, our returning champion, Art, with winning so far of $2,300. He's an executive recruiter who enjoys solo flying from Louisville, Kentucky. Let's meet Charlie Brown. <laughs> Charlie, we are kindred spirits. I love to fly myself. What kind of flying do you do? Well, I basically fly small planes like uh, Cessnas and Pipers. I find it a lot safer than flying kites. Uh, yes, I agree. <laughs> I think flying is very safe. It's safer than driving, as a matter of fact. Anyway, we have a challenger for you. Let's bring her out here. John, who do we have? She's interested in holistic health and loves to scuba dive from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Here's Susan Pilot. <laughs> Susan. Holistic health has always been kind of an unknown, complex word for me. Uh, clear it up. What is it? Well, I just kind of think about it as uh, taking really good care of your body, putting good things in, just feeling good a lot and having good thoughts. And kind of all-encompassing. Yeah, all-encompassing mind-body. Well, body. consider this a holistic learning experience <laughs> that we'll have with us today. Here's how we play the game, folks. Our computer will animate a popular catchphrase such as this one. Watch. What do we have? Uh, we have a bunch of ties, but on the ties we have uh, the names of members of a family or elements of a family. So, audience, our catchphrase is what? Family, family ties. Great. Now, each time one of you correctly identifies a toss-up catchphrase, we'll put money in the bank, and then we'll show you a part of our super catchphrase. First player to solve the super catchphrase wins all the money in the bank. And at the end of the show, the player with the most money wins the game and gets into the bonus round where we have big, big prizes. Susan, since you're a challenger, you will set the dollar value for the toss-up catchphrases in this round. When you are lucky, feel lucky, hit the button in front of you, and our computer will stop on one of these dollar amounts. Good luck. I feel lucky. All right. Wow. 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 But a word of caution, player, during play, do not buzz in before you hear this signal. And with that, we say good luck. Our computer is about to animate your first toss-up catchphrase. Here it is. There's our mascot, Herbie. Charlie? Uh, sitting on the cash? No, that's not right. Susan? Sitting on a fortune. No. Uh, now, Herbie always plays a very important function in our catchphrases. What is he doing? He is sitting on all that stuff. So our catchphrase is on, on the money. On the money. <laughs> okay. okay, keep an eye on Herbie from now on. Here we go with your next toss-up catchphrase. Watch the screen. Charlie. Sandbag. Right. Okay, Charlie, you put 125 in the bank, and you get the first chance to solve our super catchphrase. It's hidden behind nine squares, which our computer is randomly flashing. You can stop the computer by hitting the button in front of you. It'll stop on a square, whatever you're ready, and we'll show you what's behind that square. Take five seconds to look at this. Charlie, for the money in the bank, what is it? Blue skies. No, not right. All right, now, our next catchphrase was submitted by Tammy Felgar of Fontana, California. Let's see if you can get it. Charlie. Uh, hot air. Hot air, yes. <laughs> we are happy to send a catchphrase T-shirt to Tammy Felgar together with our thanks. And we are now going to show Charlie more of our super catchphrase. This 350 in the bank. We'll give it to you, Charlie, if you can solve the catchphrase. There's the square, which we will now reveal to Charlie. Big clue. Yes, Charlie. Uh, blue sea. <laughs> no, he likes blue, though, and there's plenty of it there. On we go, Susan and Charlie. Here's your next toss-up. Oh, 
now their time is up. What do we have up there? We have a spear, but it is in what kind of condition? Bum. Kind of a bum. Spear. So our catchphrase, folks, is bum spear. On we go with our next catchphrase coming up on the screen. Watch this. That's kind of tricky. That is a symbol that is used in music. It is a cleft. Now, what kind of a chin does Cary Grant and guys like that have? Audience? And my husband. And your husband? <laughs> a cleft chin. All right, stand by. We're coming back for more of play in this first round between Charlie and Susan right after these words. Well,